Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review and this is question 2D. I'm being asked to, to prove this identity here uh, and I'm going to use a, a, a method that I think is going to work better for everybody here. And I'll, I'll talk it through so you can kind of hear what I'm, what I'm thinking as I go through it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to split up the left hand side and the right hand side here. Um, now, normally we would focus our attention on the more difficult side here. Uh, but you know what? We might have to do something on this right hand side to make that a little bit easier for us to work with. I'm, uh, we're going to work on the left hand side because I've got more going on here, but I might do something over here in a bit. I'm not entirely sure yet. So first of all, what I want to do here is this. I've got this, this fraction again. Okay, I don't see any Pythagorean identities, but I do see something here that I can do to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to make this the sine of x minus the cosecant of x divided by 1 plus the sine of x. Okay, I know there's not a lot of room there, but and there we go. I'm just going to write it horizontally because it's easier for me to think about horizontally. I haven't done any math, by the way. All I've done is rewrite it in a different form. Now, there's no Pythagorean identities. There's no obvious algebra. There's no reciprocals kind of being multiplied together that I can take advantage of. So in this case, I am going to write this in terms of sine and cosine, but I don't even have many options there because cosecant is just 1 over sine, and that's the only issue that we had. Now, do I see any Pythagorean identities? Nope. Do I see any obvious algebra? Yep. Because in this first set of parentheses here, I've got two terms that I need to add together. This is like sine of x over 1 minus 1 over sine of x. So I've got common denominators here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this sine of x is the denominator. I have to multiply numerator and denominator by sine of x. So this will become sine squared of x uh, minus 1 divided by 1 plus sine of x. Okay. Now, now we run into sort of an interesting situation here. Because I can see something happening here. And this is, I, I can see it because I've, I've got experience with this. I, I know where this is going here, okay? Um, and I should let you know, I, I'm not working from a key right now. So you're kind of just getting my, my stream of consciousness as I, as I work through this. But look what we've created in the numerator here. I've got sine squared minus 1. Now, yeah, I could probably work uh, an identity into that. Okay, but if you look on the right hand side, sorry, I could work an identity, a Pythagorean identity here. I, I could, I could make this negative cosine squared, but that's not going to get me closer to this, to this expression on the right hand side. What I do see on the other hand though, is that's a difference of squares. Okay, so this is going to become the sine of x minus 1 times the sine of x plus 1 all over the sine of x. Now I'm really running out of room here. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to now multiply this by the reciprocal, okay? Because I'm dividing by this thing here. So the easiest thing to do is to multiply that by the reciprocal, which is just going to be 1 over 1 plus sine of x. But then there it is. There's the answer, okay? Because I've got a common factor of sine of x plus 1 here and here. And so what that leaves me with is the sine of x minus 1 over the sine of x which is what I see on the right hand side. So yeah, unfortunately I would have liked to have written this, probably had enough room to go one more step here, but that's, that's okay. Those two cancel and I'm left with the expression that I was looking for. And there you go.